In this video, I'm going to talk about Java hash table and hash map questions and answers that are frequently asked during an interview. These are important questions, so stay tuned till the end of the video. Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant, and without wasting time, let's get started now. Alright, so let's begin with the first one. What is a hash table? A hash table is a data structure that stores data in an associative manner, which is a key value pair. Yes, hash table is a key value lookup. Just provide a key and it will retrieve associated value quickly. Well, hash table gives you a way to implement an associative array by mapping the key to the value for quick lookup. Suppose you want to associate names with some sort of information about them. This is where hash table can be used because you can put these informations into the hash table and when you want data associated with the key, you can get detailed information immediately. Now how does a hash table store the data? Well a hash table use hash function to do so. A hash function can take large block of input data or an object and convert it into output of shorter value of integer type called the hash value or hash code. Hash function also generates the index where the hash code will be stored in the hash table. It then maps the hash value or hash code to an index into the hash table. So basically hash function converts the key into hash code and then map over to the index into the hash table. Now since the size of hash table is limited and it has to accommodate unlimited hash code. So hash function maps the hash value to an index into the hash table instead of resizing the hash table. So basically a hash table uses hash function to generate an index which determines the location of data within the table. A hash table enables quick searching. Under the best conditions, the average time required to search for an element is O of 1 and O of n in the worst case. Now coming to the next one, what is a hash value? A hash value can be thought of as a fingerprint of the data that we want to store in the hash table. You know the data is processed through an algorithm and a unique numerical value is generated which is a hash value. And if the content of the data is modified in any manner, the value of the hash will also change significantly. And it would be impossible to tell what has changed in the original content. Now the hash value is not associated directly with the index of the hash table because the hash value can be very large. Therefore, to map the hash value to an index, a modulo operation is applied with respect to the size of hash table. So in this method, you can see the hash is independent of the hash table size and it is then reduced to an index by using the modulo operator. Okay, so the next one is, what is a hash function? A hash function is a function that takes a data of arbitrary size and returns a value of fixed size, which is known as hash value. Choosing a good hash function is very important to create an efficient hash table. A good hash function must have the following basic requirements. And the first one is easy to compute. A hash function must be easy and require less system resources to compute. Next is uniform distribution. A hash function must provide a uniform distribution across the hash table and avoid clustering. Next is less collisions. Collisions occur when two different data generate the same hash value. A good hash function must have very less collisions. Next is one way. The original data must not be retrieved from the hash value. Therefore, a hash function must always work one way. So let us now try to understand what is hashing. Hashing is a process of transforming a set of characters or data into another value known as a hash value. Hashing is well known and popular way for storing and retrieving data quickly. It is a technique that is used to uniquely identify an element or object from a group of large number of similar elements or objects. 
and we use hashing technique in real life as well. In a school or college, each student is assigned a unique roll number and each book in the library is given a unique number. Using unique number, we can easily find all information about the student and book. So in these examples, the students and books are both hashed to a unique number. In a hashing algorithm, a large block of input data is converted into an output of shorter value using hash function. The hash value or hash code contains a fixed length string that summarizes the input. Next, the index of the hash value is computed to map the hash value to an index into the data structure called hash table. Now coming to another question, what is the difference between hashing and hash table? Hashing is a process of transforming a set of characters or data into another value known as a hash value. Whereas hash table is a data structure that stores data in a key value pair, whose key is often through the process of hashing. Now the next question is what is hash collision? Explain the types of collision handling methods. Collision occurs when the hashing function produces the same hash value for different input data. Now we have two common ways of handling collisions. And the first one is linear probing. In linear probing, a collision is handled by searching for the nearest available space linearly from the space that was already occupied earlier. Next is chaining. In chaining method, each block of the hash table contains a linked list. Therefore, when a collision occurs, instead of looking for the next free space, which is done in linear probing, it creates another node in the linked list and adds the key value pair there. Now moving on to the next question, what is hash map in Java? Explain the features of Java hash map. In Java hash map is a class that implements the map interface and stores data as key value pair, where every key is unique. The hash map class provides various methods to perform operations on hash map, such as adding an element, modifying an element, accessing an element, and many more. Now the features of Java hash map. Java hash map can contain only unique keys. It can contain only one null key and multiple null values and Java hash map is not synchronized. Now the next one is explain the difference between hash map and hash table. A hash map is not synchronized, whereas hash table is synchronized. Since a hash map is not synchronized, it uses less memory and is faster compared to the hash table when it is used in a single threaded application. Hash table uses more memory and is slower as compared to a hash map. Now a hash map allows one null key and multiple null values, whereas hash table doesn't allow null values at all. In hash map, iterators is allowed to iterate each mapped pair, whereas hash table uses enumerators. Now the next question is, what is double hashing in Java? What are the advantages of double hashing? Double hashing is a process where two hash functions are used. Double hashing is a technique used to prevent collisions. In case there is a collision after the first hash function, the second hash function is used. And the advantages of double hashing are, double hashing prevents collision. Double hashing can find free space faster as compared to linear probing. And in double hashing, primary and secondary clustering do not occur. Now moving on to the last question in this series. What is the advantage of using open addressing over chaining when implementing a hash table? And the main advantage of using open addressing over chaining is that open addressing is memory efficient since it doesn't require an extra data structure. 